This beauty is a 1949 Ford F1 truck. It's very interesting. It's purple and uh, chartreuse, I guess you'd call it, uh, combination. It's a uh, milk truck originally, but it's been converted to a nice uh, passenger conveyance, kind of a van. <clears throat> Brings back memories of uh, milkman that made daily rounds in neighborhoods before cars became plentiful. It has a 283 under the hood, the owner tells me, <clears throat> and it has uh, air conditioning and all the modern accessories you need for a nice cruiser. Yeah, the milk truck was just one of the vehicles that made the daily rounds or, or semi-weekly rounds in the neighborhoods. In our neighborhood, we had a bakery truck that came by that had uh, fresh bread and uh, all rolls and so forth, everything that a bakery would make. And we also had the potato chips and pretzel van that would stop by for supply people with uh, those things. That was before cars became plentiful. Back in the day, uh, when there's, if there was no car in the household uh, and the uh, they had to walk to work, why well, you really relied on this and. Cars with one, uh, households with one car, why, if the person who had the job but used the car, well, whoever was left at home was kind of trapped at home. So these uh, vehicles were uh, very useful and uh, almost indispensable. But then they, uh, they kind of tailed off, and uh, they're only a memory now. But I'm glad this one found a, a new purpose. It, did, it certainly did a very nice job, and it uh, it does stand out. Uh, many of these. Uh, Vehicles were, uh, as I remember, DIVCO, D-I-V-C-O, seemed to make a specialty of uh, delivery vehicles. But again, this one was based on the F-1 Ford. Notice how flat the windshield is. Two pieces and flat, but then they have uh, a surround up, the, up front there kind of makes the corners of the uh, of the truck visible very interesting <clears throat>